Hey, 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 Taurus. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Tauruses. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Taurus, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Please use the description box for the link to my Etsy shop as there are scammers and impersonators uh, in the tarot card community running amok. That will ensure you're getting the right reading and know that you will also see my face in video if you're ordering a tarot card reading from me and an unlisted link will be sent to you where you will have access to it forever and ever. All right, Taurus, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Don't forget to comment as well and hit the notification bell. Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, and the Strength card. Hmm. Okay, so there's some anxiety over here, Taurus, something that you're needing strength for. This could be a new beginning in a love relationship, or this could be involving a new offer in career or both. So let's see what's going on. Ace of Pentacles. What is this Ace of Pentacles? What's the Ace of Pentacles? The Hermits. What else? The Ace of Cups. Whoops. Yeah, you're doing a lot of ruminating about and the Wheel of Fortune about love here. Okay? You're thinking about love. You're thinking about the direction that you're going in and divine timing. Something may have showed up or will be showing up. And I feel like the time, the time is now. That's what I'm getting with the Wheel of Fortune. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. Three of Cups. But I feel like there's a nervousness about this timing. Hmm. Whoops, there you are, Taurus, the Empress. So there's going to be a lot of joy in this. You're going to be putting work into a relationship. We're going to see who this is in a moment. I mean, it may be a Taurus or a Libra. It's the Five of Cups. It could be somebody that you're reuniting with. It's either that Taurus or it's this past love that's sort of making you nervous about the new love. So the past experience is sort of rearing its ugly head and, and preventing movement forward here. Let me see, why is the Five of Cups here? The Six of Wands, okay. So you will overcome this, you will overcome the sadness about past love relationships and these experiences to move forward. So why the Nine of Swords? Yeah, the Five of Wands. You know that whatever this is, this opportunity, this love opportunity, it's going to bring about major transformation. You've got a lot of internal conflict going on surrounding the situation. Yeah, so there is a need to look at these fears, Taurus, because through looking at these fears, facing these fears, there's going to be major transformation here. Two of Cups. This is a fear of love. This is a fear of giving yourself to love, opening up your heart again. Tell me about the Strength card. We have temperance. 
We have the hanged man. And the four of wands. Okay. So this strength. Okay. You're trying to balance out your life or yourself because you're concerned with stability here. There's something that you've been waiting on. And I feel like, like I'm getting the time is now. So there's a need for you to move on this, but there's fear associated or attached to movement forward, putting work into what needs to be put work into. You do have an angel here to help. So you need to call on this angel. Clarify this wheel of fortune because this is fate. Transformation, death. So something must end before this begins. Yeah. So this is going to make you very happy here. I'm going to see who this person is because this wasn't really saying who this person was. This was focused on you. So who is this person that is faded? Who is this person that is faded for Taurus? Who is this person? Who is this person? So we have the sun, the king of pentacles. So this could be a fellow Taurus or Leo. Could be Virgo Capricorn or somebody with that in their chart. The chariot, Cancerian energy could be Cancer. But this is, wow, this is somebody who's very happy, who wants movement on this. This is a spiritual connection. Tell me more about this person. Six of Cups, see? Soulmate, Twin Flame Energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. How do they feel about Taurus? Queen of Swords. I feel like they're, they're wanting communication here. The Magician, the Nine of Wands. So they're feeling a little bit guarded, okay? But they're wanting to manifest something. What do they want with Taurus? The High Priestess. Hmm. The Page of Cups. I feel like they want a spiritual union with you, with the High Priestess here. What do they want with Taurus? Ace of Swords. There we have communication, truth. I feel like they want a love based on truth. We have the Eight of Wands. Seven of Swords. I feel like that has to do with communication. The Emperor. I feel like this person wants forward movement here. Okay. Definitely is looking at communication. They see you as a soulmate or a twin flame here. They want movement forward. They could literally be moving towards you or you towards them. Okay, so what is your advice to Taurus with regard to this person? And it really could be any sign here. Three of Swords, Ten of Wands. There's a need to heal your heart and to let go of a burden before this. Six of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. I feel like you're doing too much, Taurus. There's something, it's part of that burden. Queen of Wands, Five of Swords, and the Six of Swords. So there needs to be movement, possibly moving, okay? There needs to be forward movement here with the Queen of Wands. Emotional vulnerability. A need for balance here and communication I'm getting communication here yeah you've got to make sure that you're healing Taurus heal your heart heal your heart I feel that it is key because by healing your heart this is going to open you up to emotional vulnerability here 
I'm going to get one of these cards, but I'm also going to get you an animal totem here. Okay, advice. Advice for Taurus. The animal totems. Oh, hang on. You have listen. Oh, can't see that well. You have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be a compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention, not to just what's being said, but to what lies beneath the words. So when you communicate with this individual Taurus, listen, okay? Listen, listen, listen. Let's get you an animal totem here. Whoops, let me get that out. Let me shuffle these up. The energy from these animal totems today. Very strong. I forgot to pull one for Gemini. I'll pull one tomorrow for Gemini. But I pulled one in a personal reading and I'm like, whoa, damn, these are strong. So I figured I'd pull them today. All right, so what animal... Oh my gosh, that's too many. What animal can aid Taurus? The mountain lion, 17. Mm, let me see if I get any messages from the mountain lion. Stand your ground and be assertive with forward movement. Plan your purpose and pace yourself. Appease no one but the soul. Wow. And lighten your load. <laughs> this will become a part of your adventure. segue into your true north you mean north node okay that's interesting taurus okay segueing into your north node you need to find out what your north node is okay whatever sign that is that is your destiny okay so learn everything you can about that particular sign it's usually a challenge associated with your north node, okay? So be prepared for that, but they're wanting you to sort of tune into your north node and start to get on that path toward your destiny. Uh, interesting that it, the mountain lion also mentioned lightening your load, okay? Because that did come out in the Ten of Wands, needing to drop some burdens, okay? All right, Taurus, I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't, if you're interested in a personal reading. That way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Use that link in the description box to um, get a personal reading as there are many tarot card impersonators and scammers running amok in the community. Also note that I will always be seen on video if I do a tarot reading for you and you will be given an unlisted link that you can utilize forever and ever to view your video. Have a good one Taurus and I'll catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.